Hey, what's up? I'm Sneaker Barb. And I'm Dez. And this is the first episode of The Soul Report. And pretty much what this is, is a sneaker talk show where we're going to be talking about recent releases, doing coverage of sneaker events here in South Florida, and amongst other things. So pretty much just stay tuned, subscribe, like the video, and uh, follow us on social media. Everything's down in the description. first segment is called what are those and basically it's what are those what are you wearing what's on your feet so it says what are those uh today i got on my cool gray 11s and pretty much this is probably one of my favorite shoes in my collection no they look very cool thank you um i got these i got these when they came out so that was like what december 2010 i think i think that's right yeah so yeah this is definitely one of my favorite shoes very comfortable um, sneaker bar what are those i have on the carmine sixes and i got them when they came out the recent release not the ones from um from, from the package, package. Okay. yeah but um i like them though they're, no, they're I like nice the, shoe i like the red and the white it's like very clean and together so the next segment of the show is called recent releases pretty much what we're going to do is just talk about a couple shoes that came out recently and just give our little opinion on it so the first shoe that we're going to talk about is the black and silver uh jordan 6 lows so pretty much these shoes came out about what three weeks ago two weeks ago i think three now it's yeah it's about three weeks ago still sitting on the shelves uh recently i went to foot locker and they pretty much had every size available so how do you feel about those? Like, do you feel like they're slept on a shoe or? Um, I mean, I personally like them. I didn't think, I mean, I didn't feel like there was like a big hype around them or whatever. So them still being on the shelves, it's expected because this year, Jordan, a lot of Jordans have sat on the shelves. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like, I don't know if they're making too many or if nobody, like there's no hype around a lot of the shoes or like what's going on. But a lot of shoes have sat on the shelves this year, so. Yeah, so what's the next shoe? Um, the next shoe we're going to talk about is the Gucci foam posits. So, um, I personally, I thought they were okay. I kind of like the black with the gum bottom. I didn't really care too much for like the Gucci colors. Right. But um, I think it was a nice shoe. I'm not really into foams like that, but I haven't seen anybody with them on yet either. So I don't even know how they look on feet. But Yeah, I agree. Um, it's a, it's an alright colorway. Like, I feel like foams... They're just dropping way too many yeah. colors. Like I remember back in the day, like, like in high school, they phones, like, barely yeah, ever like, dropped them. If you had a pair of phones, you was that guy, like, because oh, they yeah. were just so hard to come across. And it's like now they're just dropping them whenever. But the Gucci colorway is is, is cool. Um, I haven't really seen them on shelves, so I guess they're doing all right. The last shoe we're gonna talk about for this segment is the OVO Tens. Um, this shoe is kind of weird because. They actually did come out this Saturday, mm -hmm. but a lot of people were saying that they got pushed back to like October, mm -hmm. but then they still ended up dropping on Saturday. Um, I know that was like a real hype shoe. So how do you like feel about the shoe itself? Like not even talking about the hype around it, just simply about like the colorway of the shoe. Um, I think the shoe is nice. It's very clean. I like the like kind of like off whitish beige thing it has going on um, in the box. The box was dope too. It wasn't yeah. um wasn't a regular um Jordan box. It was white and then it had like the gold like owl on it and stuff right. like that. So I thought that was different. I mean for the price you're paying and like the resale price and all that stuff, like it's kinda cool to have like a different box. I what think it think? I think it's a cool shoe, like it's I feel like it's definitely a clean colorway mm -hmm. as far as like a white. I'm really like a fan of like all white shoes, which is pretty mostly white with the little hints of gold. Mm -hmm. Um, I know I was gonna really talk about the hype, but I feel like it is kind of like overhyped. Like they selling them. I think they came out for like two twenty five. Mm -hmm. And I saw on Instagram somebody was selling them for like twelve hundred. I think was like yeah. the lowest. I don't think it's worth it. No, you can buy a lot of other things with twelve hundred. Yeah. Like either way, he dropped 
today. And cool shoe if you got it. Good luck to you. Uh, congrats luck, to you. Good luck to keeping them clean. Yeah, also. good luck keeping them clean. <laughs> and if you didn't, oh well. <laughs> I feel bad for you. The next segment is called overhype or underhype. Basically, it's if we think that the shoe is overhyped or underhyped. So, what's the first shoe? All right, the first shoe we're gonna talk about on uh, overhype, underhype is the Lingy 14s. Now, these are supposed to come out in October. Um, what do you think? You think they're overhyped or underhyped? Right now, I don't think they're overhyped, but the week of, definitely overhyped. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like they're under hype right now. They haven't came out in point. so long, yeah. so everybody is going to be like, oh my god, I had those when I was little and this and that, so they're going to want to get them again. So I definitely think they'll be over by the time they come out. So she says over I say under hype. Next shoe. The next shoe is the Maroon 6s. Um, definitely, I think they're going to be over because I've seen them at like Sneaker Con and Dunk Exchange and stuff like that, and they were going for like a couple hundred. And these are like the older pairs, so right. if the newer ones are coming out, then people are going to try and sell their old pairs and this and that. So I definitely think they're going to be overhyped because those also haven't came out in a long time either. Right. I um, I think they're going to be overhyped depending on, not overall overhyped, but it really depends on when they drop them because they don't really have like a solid release Well, on state. when and on how many they're yeah, dropping, exactly. if they're limited or not. Right now, um, from what I've seen is the price point is going to be like 225 so... I'm thinking they're probably might drop them like around the holiday season, mm -hmm. so it's probably gonna be over hype. Definitely a dope shoe. That's probably one of my like shoes that I'm looking forward to getting this year. So Maroon Sixes, she said over hype, I see over hype too. So um the next shoe that we're gonna talk about is the Supreme Fives. Now this shoe is actually three colorways coming out. It's a camel colorway. It's gonna be a black colorway with a little bit of red and a white colorway with a little bit of red. So, um, what do you think? Overhyped or underhyped? Overhyped, like <laughs> to the max. Like they're if, if it's supreme, anything True. is overhyped. Like they could make like I don't. They can make like a toothbrush and yeah. sell it for hundred dollars. Everybody is going to buy that toothbrush. So if it's Jordan and Supreme together, it's definitely overhyped. No, I definitely agree. I feel like it's overhyped. Especially like for the fact that we had them all white fives that had just came out. Mm -hmm. And they sat and on they shelves. was on the shelves for a while. And for now a long they're dropping time. all white fives. I'm pretty sure they're going to sell out instantly. Mm -hmm. Definitely overhyped. And hopefully they come in a cool box too. I'm yeah. sure they, they probably yeah. will. But. Um, from what I've seen, they have a box where it's kind of like col like a collab. So it's going to have like the Supreme logo. And oh, the yes, logo. yes, yes. I've seen it. Yeah, yes. yeah. So yeah, definitely a dope shoe. I, I want the black ones. I'm not really too fond of the camel ones and the white ones. I like white shoes, but those are kind of trash to me. But yeah, definitely overhyped on my part. Sneaker bar, overhyped. Oh, so, um, what's the last shoe that we're gonna do? The last shoe is the Aqua 8s. Um, these came out not too recently, but they came out. Um, I want to say like 08. When I, I was definitely in high school, yeah. and I think I was in like the 10th grade, so yeah. that was a good seven, eight years ago. Yeah. So, um, those, I mean, I personally, I love them. I still have the old pair. Um, and um, right now, I'm thinking they're under hype yeah. right now. And I mean, I don't, well, you, you never know until the week of if everybody wants them or not. But right now, I'm going to say under hype. Right. Um, I'm going to say they're kind of under hype, but like you said, we wouldn't know until the week of. When day. I got them, I just walked into Kids Foot Locker and I was like, yeah. oh, four and a half. They definitely now, were hard I, to get I can't back do there. that anymore. Yeah. And I wear a four and a half. So, so hopefully Times they're were still under hype. Yes. Hopefully they're still under hype <laughs> after all these so years. So everybody can get them that used to have them or that wants them again. Yeah, I definitely want them. So she says under hype. I say under hype too. Yeah. Um, they're supposed to be coming out Black Friday, I think, too. That's what I heard. Then I saw the um. I think they switched it. I thought. Yeah, I thought they switched it up. I don't. I don't think Jordan has it all together right now. But yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Last segment of this episode is called Sneaker Tip, which pretty much every episode we're just gonna give you a tip um, regarding sneakers. So Sneaker Bar, what's your sneaker tip for this episode? The sneaker tip for this episode is know when to wear your sneakers. If you know there's a hurricane coming outside, don't wear white shoes. Or, uh, yeah, do not wear your OVO 10, please, because they're going to get messed up. Or if you know you're going somewhere where, like, to the club or something like that, don't wear a 
all white Hirachis or something with a material that you can't clean. Like, just think before you leave the house. Right, and that pretty much wraps it up. Um, we thank y'all for tuning in. This is the first ever episode of The Soul Report. Um, we're going to be bringing you new episodes every two weeks. So y'all stay tuned, like, subscribe, and follow us on social media. I have I have a um, I have a sex addiction. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, now for the people who don't know, tell people what you do and why I said that. Yeah, so I'm a sex therapist. Okay. <laughs> he went on the Celtics game six and he went crazy. And he yeah. was making everything. He had that he had that look yes, inside. Everybody yeah. was talking about and everybody that iconic moment everybody remembers. It Any, was like anything that man was pulling was dropping. I was yeah. just like, well, we can't. He was make it everything. was just determined. He wasn't.